Welcome back to a new episode of Mastering Programming. Today we will create a simple hangman game. Um, the rules of the game are simple and I wrote them here. So the first rule is a random word is selected from a list of words. User is informed when the word is selected and asked to provide his or her first guess. If the, user, if the user's guess is correct, the letter is displayed in the console and the user is informed when, with the amount of letters left to guess. And also, um, the user only has five chances. After that, the game actually ends. It's game over after that. So I'm going to start off by importing random. That's the library. And this library allows us to actually um, generate some random numbers and create, just use, you know, the randomness. Um, I'm also going to create, or oh, sorry, declare a list of the words that we're going to be playing with. And I'm going to call that words. Very simple to understand, to be honest. And inside of that, I've already prepared a list which we're going to use. So this is the list that we're going to be using. I know it has weird stuff, but you know, I have to keep it basic. And we're also going to add another list. And in this list, we're going to be adding every character that the user guesses right. We're also going to come here and declare wo word. And we're going to call this dog. This is just our experimental word. Um, for now, it's just going to be set as dog. Uh, so that I can actually guess it very easily what's inside the word or not guess it because I already know which word it will be and you will just kind of understand straight away how this works um, so all we're going to be doing is really just using a while and an if statement to create this hangman game and I'm going to get right into it and trust me you'll find this easy once we finish it so I'm going to straight away print a greeting to the player welcome to hangman and this is the first thing the player is going to see once they execute our program. And I'm also going to set our life to 5. So you have 5 chances of getting it wrong, which is rule number 4. If, you, if this becomes 0, then the game ends. So like I said, because I want to keep this game going, even if the guy um, sort of loses their life or guesses something wrong or right, I want it to keep running until the either either wins or it becomes game over. So I'm just going to put while life is under 30. And this while loop is always going to be running because 5 is always going to be smaller than 30, which is exactly what we want. I will show you how to break out of the loop in a second. So we're going to create an object and inside the object, we're going to be storing the input or the user's guess. Uh, yeah, yeah. And I'm going to say, wow, you guess this right. Very simple. And then I'm going to create an if statement. I'm going to say if word dot contains guess. And pretty much what's, what this if statement does is that it checks um, if word contains the guess that the user has inserted. It checks if the word contains this object, uh, sorry, the character stored inside of this object. If that's true, what we want to do is print out, oops, I have no idea what just happened. Wow, you guess this right and i just realized that <laughs> we were not meant to say this here we we're just meant to say enter your first guess because they haven't even guessed right guessed it first sorry for that and yeah so now if the word actually contains the user's guess we want to print out to him and say or her and say wow you guessed this right so they know that they actually guessed a letter correct and what we're going to do is that we will append or add that letter, like I told you, to that list over here. So we can compare and actually find out some results, whether or not we have collected all the letters or not. And you see how we're going to use that right now. Later, um, since, we added the, since we added the letter every time we would get it right, um, um, we can find out whether or not the word is complete by doing this. So we're going to say if letters dot len. So if the amount of characters inside of the list letters is equivalent to the amount of characters inside word. We want you to say.
We want you to print to the user. Congratulations. And to keep it hot, I've prepared some images here that I can use. And we're going to come here and say, or oh, put those three dancing men. Or at least I think they're dancing. And we're going to break out of the loop. So let's see what happens. Before I explain, I'm just going to run it. Welcome to Hangman. Enter your first guess. I'm going to put in D. Wow, you guessed this right. I'm going to put in O. Wow, you guessed this right. I'm going to put in G. And it says, wow, you guessed this right. Perfect. Works really well. Uh, but now what happens if I actually put an uh, an incorrect number, uh, letter? So what happens if I put E, nothing happens. E, R, T, nothing happens. We're not informed that we're actually putting a wrong letter. And that's because right here, we said what happens if the word contains guess. But we didn't. We never said what happens if the word does not contain it. So this is exactly what we're going to be doing right now. So what we're going to do, we're going to come here, roll like this, and we're going to say else. So this will run if the previous one is not true. We're going to say else. Letter, letters, left. We want the user, if the user still didn't want, win, we just want the user to know how many letters are left. So we're going to say letters, word, but then, and this is how we're going to calculate how many letters we have left. Minus letters, dot then. And what this does is that it takes in, tells us the number of um, letters inside word. And it, min and it minuses the number of letters from the list letters from word. So if the user got two letters correct, there will be two characters here. And we know that there's three characters here. So this will be three minus two, which is one. And the user will now know that there is one character left. And the user will know that because we're going to print out letters left. Let's check out if this actually works or not. So I'm going to run this. I'm going to say... D. And it says, wow, you guessed this right. Two. So now the user knows that there is two letters left. We're going to put O. And it says, wow, you guessed this right. One. And we're going to say G. And it says, congratulations without printing this out because it understands that this code will not run if it, now it's equivalent. But I want to customize it more. I don't want it to just say one or two or three. I want it to say something like you have one or three or two letters left. So let's run this real quick. And I'm just going to do an example of this. And I'm going to say D. And it says, well, you guessed this right. You have two letters left, which is what we exactly what we want. So you can already tell it's all coming together. Now we want to actually teach it what to do if um, the user guesses something incorrectly we don't want it to just crash or anything so we're gonna come here and we're gonna go back and we're gonna say else so now we're saying if it does not contain the guess that the user is gonna make run the following code we're gonna come down and we're gonna say um life minus equal to one so we're gonna take one life away from this so if the user gets it wrong it's gonna be four gets it wrong again, three, and so on, until it becomes zero. And let me show you what we're going to do. So we're going to say if life is equal to zero. So if the user gets it wrong all this time until it actually reaches zero, we're going to say print game over the word. And we're going to tell the user what the word was that they couldn't guess. And we're going to say word so it says game over the word was and then it actually prints out the word and if it if it is game over we want to break we want to end this game we don't want this guy to have another game because he already finished all his life so we're gonna press uh sorry we're gonna type in break and that's gonna break out of the loop after that we're gonna explain what to do if the user couldn't guess it correctly but he still has life so let's say he guessed it only once wrong what would the code do what would Python do? Sorry. So we're going to say print. Oops. You have
life. I'm not gonna say lives left. Try again, and I put it in caps so that they can be intrigued. Um, and surprise, surprise, we are actually done. So all what happens here is it takes away one minus five. Sorry, it goes five minus one if the user gets it wrong. So it becomes four, and then it becomes four minus one, which will become three. It will keep going down every time the user gets it wrong until it reaches zero. If life becomes equal equivalent to zero, we're gonna say print. We're gonna say game over. The word is, and then print the word, and stop the game. Else, if the user still has life, so if this is not true, this will run, and it will say, "Oops, you have, let's say, three lives left. Try again." So let me show you exactly how this runs for now. So I'm gonna say, um, let's say D. And yeah, wow, you have two letters left. Guess again. We're going to put O, and this time we're going to put something wrong, and we're going to say R. It says, oops, you have four lives left. Try again. We're going to put T, and it says, oops, you have three lives left. Try again. And now if we press G, it says, wow, you guessed this right. Congratulations. But notice how there is something missing. And that is, we know <laughs> the word every single time. We know that the word is going to be dog. So there's really nothing interesting about that. So what we're going to do, we want to make this random. We want to select a random word from here that even I won't know. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm going to use the random function that I used earlier. Sorry, that I imported earlier. I'm going to say words. I'm going to say random dot rand range. I'm going to explain this in a second. Do not panic. Say len words so what this does is it stores it goes over word and for every character in word in that which like let's say this is four it's gonna for every character in word it's gonna generate um sorry what am i saying <laughs> for the length of this list so for if this was five it's gonna generate it's gonna pick a random um number out of five if this was five but it's one two three four five six. so this is ten it's gonna generate a random number out of ten and it's gonna select it and it's gonna select the position of it so let's say it selects zero dog is gonna be a word it selects one this is gonna be a word and that's because yeah just thought i'll tell you just in case you don't know this is actually position one sorry this is position zero this is position one and this is position two that's how code works i'm gonna remove that and now if we actually run this, so right now I actually don't know we, what the word is. And to prove that, I'll put D. And it says, oops, you have four lives left. Let's try again. And this time I'm going to put A. Okay, I'm getting a bit intense. I'm going to put E. Oh, oh, finally. So we guess right. So let's try G just to show you and see which words have E. We have monkey, we have love, we have exam, rocket, space. All right, we have a lot actually. So I'm going to put an X. All right, so it's not exams. Um, I don't want to die, put K, oh, K is right, so it's definitely monkey, because it's the only word that have this combination, so I'm going to put M, I'm going to put O, um, you have three letters left, I'm going to put N, oh, what? Alright, so apparently I guessed it wrong, but you get the point, this worked fine, and let's play again, it's actually pretty fun, so I'm going to put A, because it's the most common one, E, D. It's a hard game. Um, R. Oh, wait. It's KC. And I'm going to put F. Alright. Alright. It's getting. Oh, it's book. O. O. Nice. So we, <laughs> we actually won. We guessed it right. It was book. Um. Notice how when we lost, um, let's, let me run again and I'm going to lose. I'm going to say E, E, E. Oh, wow. It was right. <laughs> T, 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 T. It says game over. The word was exam. So it tells us whether or not we lost. Anyway, um, that was it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and liked it. Um, please like and subscribe. And I'm actually really happy because we reached 27 subscribers in a matter of four days. So thank you for anyone who subscribed and please continue to do so. Thank you. Bye-bye.